Welcome to this video playing Jesse from Finland. King's Indian or Grunfeld. I want to do something else. I'm, I've played so many of those classical King's Indians with uh, this Makagonov with H3 and so on. Let's do the Fianchetto line. It's also a very reliable setup for for white. Okay, I don't I don't know it though. <laughs> it's uh, one of the lines I have never seriously studied. Mm. Yeah, maybe you can play uh, b5. Maybe I'd have also e5. Huh? Seems unlikely. Ah yes, yeah. This is this is one line. Yeah, this, I, I've seen this before. Hmm. Yeah, it's really rook h five. This is dangerous. Okay, I can I can play h4. It's not the end of the world if the rook appears there, but yeah, I'm playing h4. Uh, maybe he can start with bishop h3. By the way. Hmm. Okay, I take c5, bishop h3. Yeah, there's bishop g4, yeah, the big threat. No, okay, I need to react to that. Check. Hmm, yeah, I really don't know. Is this uh, so terrible for white? I mean, the rook here. Okay, I cannot take g4 as d4 hangs as well. So I probably should take him. Maybe he could have taken on c3. Now, okay, don't uh, worry. Let's just continue. This knight is not bad. It, 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 it threatens knight e7 with the queen win. Knight f4, maybe. And it cannot easily be expelled. Knight f4 now. Isn't this uh, winning the exchange? Yes, it is. It wins the exchange. Or um, some other material. Like this. <laughs> okay, knight. I can take here, though. Um, knight e6. Knight e6, f e6 takes on h4, queen h4. Yeah, it's not not so easy to play. It's probably not objectively working, but. It is um, very dangerous, at least. Get the queen to g3. Uh, maybe he can actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is this is also interesting. But um, okay, it doesn't matter. It's already already. Um, over this chance. I thought maybe he could have um, played um, hmm. Check. Hmm, I wonder about this. Is this a knight takes rook? I can always take with the piece on e3 and the knight is hanging on um, on g4 it would really be weird if it's not working i had some other Check. idea rook takes yeah 
fe rook f8 i don't know about that so Yeah, that's relatively safe. I mean, I can always blunder stuff. But um, white has good control here. My <clears throat> my extra bishop is, um, is helping to defend the king. And now queen d4 is the idea. He only has one pawn. One pawn for, for the piece. Okay, I cannot take d6, of course. Maybe e5, though. Yeah, e5 is good. I can try to get the queen side now. b7 hangs and b6 rook d6 i will get the pawn rook f5 i can play a4 A4, A4 is not really that great now that I think about it. Then he can play a E3. No, it's not a big problem if he goes E3 really. Okay, so he allows me to take there. Hmm. Probably with the bishop. I want to keep keep both pieces. The rook is uh, maybe good to attack the, the pawns here. And I can always time warning make sure that the bishop is protected. Check. Yeah, I'm getting B six, which is the important pawn here. Take this on to a6. This is easier, right? Controlling the a pawn. Uh, the h pawn. I bet okay. I'm coming to b7. Now uh, this is really quite quite good. I can just take it. Resigns. At the beginning of the whole operation, it was certainly interesting. I mean, he you know, he didn't really um, intended to 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 sacrifice the material. It was sort of happening accidentally, but it was interesting. Uh, here, bishop c three was interesting. Very strange looking move. Knight f four is probably right then. The rook is really terribly misplaced. If we look at this, yeah, we can easily imagine that the rook here is uh, not able to save himself. If we consider this, it's quite nice. He took there knight e5, and now it gets problematic. Really, knight e7, knight f4. Yeah, the computer is giving white almost a decisive advantage. Uh, it's it's in a practical game it's still very unclear or let's say hard to play oh interesting the computer is very merciless rook b3 yeah? <laughs> preparing to take the rook because it cannot move as the knight hangs i took though and now played this move 
And here, I wasn't sure about this move, rook f8, because here, check. it's got this check in. But okay, there is no problem. Yeah, I have this. I forgot that I have h2 available. So this is not really helping. Yeah, then white is basically winning here. This is a bit, um, a bit too much check. material. Yeah. yeah, here black only has some chances to, to swindle, but it's really lost with the piece down. So what went wrong there? I don't know. Maybe I was thinking here, when I when I went here, that he can maybe take on h3 first. Is this maybe an idea? Bishop takes and now this? Oh no, I can take here. Okay, okay, that's very important and then take the queen on c8. Yeah, then this really means that white is better. The computer actually wants to take the the knight, but this looked very dangerous to me. Ah, again with this idea. As this um, is assessed by very, as being very advantageous for white. Two, uh, two pieces and a rook for the queen, and uh, I have some nice possibilities. Yeah, but tough to play in a in, in a blitz game. All right, thanks for watching.